Greetings, dear ones. So I got the request from one of my clients and she asked if I could create a shorter video that will help with the grounding, one that you can return to on a daily basis or whenever you have the need to. And so I will put the t timestamps in the description box below so you can um, you can go directly to the transmission when you have when you want to repeat uh, the practice and it is so important and I know all of you heard it before but grounding is really essential and especially for many of us as high sensing beings we we maybe more than others need to ground and establish the connection to our roots to be able to navigate the shifts that we are experiencing and it isn't to be highly sensing it doesn't need to be a curse as many has many of you me included has uh, experienced it to be until we learn how to navigate it and allow it to become our strength because it is truly a gift to be able to tune into different energies tune into feel our ways into what resonates and and what doesn't and be open to other people's energies and other beings energies if i wasn't highly sensing i would never be able to uh, receive messages to be a channel for source for um other my my family of light and other and your guides as well uh, but we need to remind ourselves constantly to ground and especially now we are moving into eclipse season as well and the energies are once again uh, getting more intense and another thing with grounding so when we are ungrounded the energies tend to go to our head and create excessive thinking and um, the mental body gets activated and then we tend to move into anxiety or uh, negative thing, uh, thought patterns. Uh, to be grounded is to be uh, in the now, to be move away from thoughts and emotional triggers and to also discern what is our energies and what is not our own energy. So that is something as we develop, as we are opening up, as we become more clear as a channel, we all have the ability to channel source. Uh, it is important to know when it's my energies and when it's uh, not my energies, when it's source energy and when it's not. And for me to be a full body channel, what I do is I uh, transmute energies from the collective from my clients through my vessel through my systems all bodies and all minds and therefore it's easier and or it's crucial to be grounded otherwise it's easy to get overwhelmed and lost in process as well will the process um, move through much easier and you're able to discern and for you as well each and every one of us are going through our own process all the time and if we are grounded it will just move more smooth and more quickly and it's easily i think this is important to talk about as well because many of us have want do want this um high vibrational experiences so we want to go out there we want to just move up through our higher chakras and connect to this uh, higher states of consciousness uh, and we then tend to be out of the body not connected to the physical body uh, because many of us have experienced trauma being in this physical body in this lifetime or others so we tend to want to not fully want to be here but the thing is that when we as we are shifting it is happening through being present in this body and i talked about it before and i need to um just to to go through it once again because because it is in this body that the shifts taking place it is to be fully present in this flesh in the 
in duality that we can return to oneness to unity and so if we just go and uh, receive these high vibrational energies activations they tend to just linger in our auric field in our outer energy bodies and we need to be grounded to be able to pull them into our physical body that is the most dense of our bodies that's the last the end station and it is when we pull them in into our physical body they become a shift in our physical reality it's then that we experience a shift in our physical bodies as well and in our, in our day-to-day -day experiences and for that we need to be grounded we need to pull that energy down into our bodies and then we are able to allow them to go deep into the ley lines of mother earth and that is how we shift the vibration of mother earth as well and we clear out the dense energies uh, we help her to clear them out from the history of humanity from the collective and that's how we heal the collective and help to heal our brothers and sisters and to become that because it is as to be an antenna and uh, an antenna need to be um, connected to something right to receive the message and to carry that message through uh, or imagine um, yeah that's a that's um, what they're showing me so for us to be able we need to be connected to earth and to be open up to the sky to stars to receive the messages and allow them to move through us so i see that so many times with clients um that they have gone through great shifts and changes but it's still not really manifested into in their lives in their bodies uh, because they are not grounded they are it's still potentials in their outer energy bodies in the auric field so dear ones so once if you want to repeat this grounding experience and whenever you need it to you may jump just into the transmission uh, and i will as i said put the timestamps below so one thing that is very important when we want to be grounded is to slow things down our breath the way we move the way we talk we how we walk when we eat when we are whatever we are doing to just slow things down and to allow ourselves to be present the breath as well is very good way to anchor ourselves into this experience into this now moment to be physical physically mm, like a, doing a workout breaking a sweat is a very good way to be grounded as well move the body through something that is outside of your comfort zone uh, to make you a bit exhausted and really sweating helps to move energy and helps to ground a walk in nature drinking water a bath sleep as well allow yourself to sleep not to a way uh, and just be mindful if it is a way to escape or if it is because you really need it that's important too so i hope this will help you on a daily basis and as we are moving into this a little bit challenging eclipse season where we need to be grounded to navigate the shifts because great blessings are coming the ones so we are now moving into the transmission you just become aware of your body and i invite you allow yourself to really feel your body especially the lower parts of your body your hips your thighs your buttocks the part of your belly under the belly button 
Just make sure you're not holding any tensions, not holding your breath, allowing your neck and your shoulders to relax. And just know that your physical body is your home. It is a safe place for you to be in whatever experiences you had in the past. And at the base of your spine, at your first physical chakra, just become aware of this chakra, the Muladhara chakra. Become aware of the roots going from this chakra down deep through the layers of the earth, down into the core of Mother Earth. And allow yourself to anchor in this, in the heart of Mother Earth, this pristine energy. Just your intention is enough. Just give your intention that I now ground myself and anchor in the heart of Mother Earth. You can imagine, visualize, intent, allow, shaker, share, seke, shoto, shosh. And with your next inhalation, pull up the energy from Mother Earth through your roots into your physical body, her heartbeat her love and her support. All the way through your inner channel up to your heart. And move with your Attention, intention from your heart up through your torso, your throat, your head up through your crown. Follow that channel light up, 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 up to source, to God, to all there is, the greatest and purest form of light. And allow yourself to be held from below by Mother Earth and from above, by Source, you just become very aware of your column of light that you are, that is sustaining you, that is supporting you. And as you are connected to this infinite light, peace, you may with, withdraw your energies from the horizon, horizontal plane, from the outside world, the seen and unseen. Just allow your cords to pull back from every, any events, any people and circumstances around you. And institutions, and even your loved ones, just allow yourself to be connected to Source and to Mother Gaia. And allow your inner column of light to expand as far as you feel comfortable around your physical body. And in, is, instead of you being receptive for energies around you, you are now allowing only a source light to move through you. And you use your horizontal, horizontal cords 
to allow the source light to extend from you for as an outgoing movement you receive and you give it away and I just allow your energy bodies to expand, your central column to expand. You are resting in your own energy. There is no one here but you. You are safe. It is safe for you to relax. You are at home. Allow all your bodies and all your minds to be relaxed. As you continue to expand your energy bodies for Keshanaya Karam. To be sustained by the light encompassed by the light clearing and cleansing and grounding you breathing up and down this column of light from the heart of mother earth up to source from source down to mother earth and up again and now you may place a, heart, a hand on your heart. Just be present in your heart. And allow all thoughts to just be still. Allow everything to be still. All is good. Neki se kroshanai, te shere se kino roshash. And I ask your guides to adjust your energy field to size that is perfect for you. As I see your bodies and minds, your field in light. All is well. You are safe. May you be at peace. Blessings.